best Like no one ever was To catch them is my real test Hey guys, Wells Knight here Bringing you the next episode in my Team Slot Elimination Challenge run through Pokemon Leaf Green. Last time we went through Viridian Forest, made it to Pewter City, and in this episode we will be taking on Brock in the Pewter City Gym. Now, the Team Slot Elimination Challenge is a challenge that I came up with myself. I would argue that it is harder than a Nuzlocke challenge. Uh, you can find a link in the description below to my thread on the Poke Community Forums, which goes over all of the rules in detail, but it's a pretty cool challenge, so check it out, see what you think. Uh, now, we're going to go ahead and take on this gym. I currently have uh, Abu, our Mankey, in the lead, and I believe this kid's first Pokemon is a Geodude, so I should be able to uh, take him out with Mankey. With a low kick. Uh, let's see, he's gonna go ahead and use Defense Curl, which isn't really gonna be a big deal. Alright, and uh, one more low kick should finish him off. Maybe two because of those Defense Curls, but... He's welcome to keep using Defense Curl all he wants as long as he doesn't attack me. I don't mind. Okay, so we got the Geodude down. That should give Abu a level, I'm hoping. And it does, so that's definitely a good thing. Now for Sand Shrew, we are going to go ahead and switch to Cabbage. Because Cabbage is going to uh, be able to get super effective damage with Vine Whip. Uh, I've never really understood why Sand Shrew is in Brock's gym, because Sandshrew is a ground-type Pokemon, and this is a rock-type gym, so that's always kind of escaped me, but you know, I guess whatever, I've it's always been that way, so who am I to argue? Um, don't really know what the deal is there, but whatever. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and run back to the Pokemon Center to heal. I am going to use the fast forward button for this one little part. After this, we will have uh, running shoes after we fight Brock, and then we won't have to heal anymore, so that is good. Now, we're not going to mess around with Brock. We're going to put Cabbage in the lead right off the bat. Should be able to one or two shot all of Brock's Pokemon. He has a Geodude who I believe is level either 10 or 12, and then an Onyx that an, an Onyx that is two levels higher. I want to say it's 12 and 14 now that I think about it. Uh, okay, so we got a level 12 Geodude who we will hit with Vine Whip. Should be a one-hit KO. And Cabbage will get some experience for that. Don't know if it'll be enough to level up. Not quite. But we will use Cabbage on Onyx as well. And a four times effective move in Leech Seed hopefully will take him out in one hit. And once again, it does. So, Onyx goes down. Cabbage gains a level. And we have earned the Boulder Badge, our first badge. You can see it is uh, now filled in, in the overlay here, and that allows us to use Flash, and then he's also going to give us a TM for Rock Tomb, I believe it is, and ding ding ding, I am right, okay, cool, yeah, I, I didn't want to talk with you again, Rock, oh wait, yeah, yeah I'm going to Cerulean, yes, I know, okay. All right, so that is done. We're gonna go ahead and continue on our journey. Might as well run back to the Pokemon Center to heal up. Nothing really got damaged too badly in uh, 
that battle with Brock, but you know, we're about to head out and move beyond, um, move beyond Pewter City, so I figure now is a good time to, uh, to heal up, because once we leave, we're not really going to be looking back. So, let's see here. Let's make sure we're all stocked up on potions and Pokeballs and all that good stuff. We got ten of those. Ten of those and... Ooh, no antidotes. We definitely want to have some antidotes in the bag. So we'll take some of those. Everything else we should be good. Alright. So, let's go. And... Here is Professor Oak's aide, who hooks us up with a nice pair of running shoes. Because you know, in the world of Pokemon, in order to be able to run, you must have special running shoes. You cannot run in boots, you cannot run in flip-flops, you cannot even run in tennis shoes. They have to be running shoes from your mother. Totally makes sense. Okay, so uh, let's see here. Let's, uh, let's do a couple fights. I think first thing I'm going to do is switch Beaker, our uh, Spiro, into the lead, and then we'll take on this Bug Trainer, get Beaker a couple levels. Um, I believe that other trainer down there... I know some of these trainers are going to have Pidgeys, and uh, both Abu and Cabbage both really dislike Pidgey. Uh, it's, so I need to get something else that is not weak to flying type moves. I need to get that Pokemon some experience, get them up there and level a little bit. In that case, this is going to be Beaker. So uh, that way Beaker can take on some Pidgeys. And uh, that way I won't lose something to some stupid trainer because of a lucky gust, a bad type bet. Uh, tight matchup. So, all right. Beaker is up to level seven. Uh, learns Leer, which is not a super useful move, but whatever. Uh, we will go ahead and leave Beaker in to take out this Weedle. We'll go for a peck. Hopefully, I won't get poisoned. But if I do, I do have uh, antidotes in store, so I'm not super worried. Another peck. Alright, and we get 111 experience right there. Very nice. And for a Caterpie, once again, we'll just let Beaker take this one out too, now that Beaker is up to level 8. Ooh. Oh, that was a critical. Okay, I'm not super worried then. Because a critical didn't even do half of my remaining HP, so I'm not worried. I should be able to finish him off with one more peck. Uh, we probably will... Actually, I could probably just use a potion rather than running back to heal up. So we got 112 there, enough to get Beaker up to the very nice level of level 8. We're going to go bag, go into the potion... And give that to Beaker. And then let's fight this girl. Down. Actually, there's another bug trainer over there. I'm going to run and take him on too. Then we'll go back and fight those other two. I'm trying to get Beaker up to a reasonable level before I start fighting some of these trainers that often carry Pidgeys and flying types. So we'll go back again. Oh, we got a crit there. Very nice. Let's see if that gives us enough to get level 9. Not quite. Pretty close. Kakuna, obviously, is not really going to be able to do anything. So, um... Hmm, what do I want to do here? Do I want to put in Abu? I think we'll leave Beaker in. We need to get Beaker up. Because Beaker, I actually intend to keep around for a while. I might keep a boo around for a while, too. I haven't really decided yet. But the cocoon is going to go for a harden. And 
one more peck should finish it off. Alright, there we go. And Beaker hits level 9. Still doesn't learn anything new, but that's okay. Uh, we'll take out this Caterpie now. Peck is definitely getting used, that's for sure. Alright, there we go. So, Caterpie goes down, and now I believe this kid is going to send out a Metapod. I think I am going to switch for that. We're going to go... You know, let's go to Bucktooth. Um... Why not? I'm just gonna get Bucktooth a little bit of experience here. I actually I probably should be using a boo, but whatever. Um, and I am just going to fast forward to this fight because I'm just tackling. He's just hardening. Uh, Bucktooth is not in any real danger, and if I do not fast forward through it, it's going to take a long, long time for me to chip through him with these little itty bitty tackles with as well as defenses up so high. So Bucktooth hits level five. Doesn't even quite get enough to hit level 6 figures. Oh well. Okay, I think we are good to go ahead and start taking on some of these other trainers now. So, we'll fight this last. Janice. And she sends out a Pidgey, so it's definitely a good thing we trained Beaker up a little bit. Because I believe at level 9, Pidgey does know Gust, and I do not want to put Abu or Cabbage up against a gust wielding Iggy. I just do not see it going very well. Um, although, honestly, gust Cabbage could probably take a few gusts. I wouldn't worry about that too much. Um, in fact, we're gonna we're gonna see if he can. I know I'm sure he can take at least one. Let's see if he can take two. I'll go for the tackle, which does like nothing at all. Holy cow! Should probably be using leech seed, but at this point, oh, I missed really. I missed. Oh, moment of truth. Okay, so actually, Cabbage kind of took that like a champ. Not gonna lie. All right, let's go ahead and use a potion on Cabbage. Just to make sure he doesn't get destroyed with another gust. And we are now going to go for the final tackle. Finish the Pidgey off. And Cabbage should gain a level out of that. Yep, level 14. Sweet. All right, now. We're going to run back into town to heal up real quick. Do, 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 do. Yep. And I'm going to fast forward to that real quick. Alright. And onwards we go. Cool. Alright, so this is actually going pretty well so far, and now I believe this is, if I remember correctly, this is the kid who's like, I like shorts, they're comfy and easy to wear. So we're going to put Bucktooth out front, actually no, we're not, we're going to put Abu out front, because if I remember correctly, he has a Rattata, and Low Kick is uh, going to be super effective, it won't do a huge amount of damage though, because Low Kick does more damage based on how heavy the opponent is, and obviously a Rattata is not a very heavy Pokemon. Uh, but we'll still go... F Ooh! Holy... Oh, man. Oh, that was really close. Um, okay. Cabbage. Holy cow, I just nearly lost Abu right there because of this Rattata being annoying. Holy... Cats, that was close. If I had taken one one tackle before that crit, I would have lost Abu, and that would have been disastrous. Whew. 
Oh, man. Breeze. Breeze coal. Okay, breeze. Alright, let's go, um, let's throw in Bucktooth. Oh, no, not Summary. Shift. We're gonna throw in Bucktooth. Just so he gets a little bit of experience, and then we'll just switch back into... That intimidates annoying. Uh, we'll just switch back into Cabbage. Or do I want to go Beaker? Yeah, we'll go Cabbage. We'll go back into Cabbage. And then that way we can start getting some leech seed damage on him. Which is going to miss, naturally. He's going to leer me a bunch of times. Alright, so we'll start getting some of that uh, residual leech seed recovery, which is always a good thing. Now, I gotta remember if I can't... I want to say there's a Pokemon Center right outside of Mount Moon. So maybe we'll try and fight our way to that Pokemon Center. Although, actually, considering we almost just lost um, Abu, maybe it would be better. I might actually run back and heal up after this fight, too. I hate, uh, I hate doing that, but... Conservation of resources is definitely going to be a lot more beneficial overall than failing the challenge. Uh, he's going to Poison Sting. The wrap is going to hurt me a little bit, but I think my Leech Seed should finish him off right here. Sure enough. Alright, so Ekans goes down. Bucktooth gains 72 experience, which is enough to get to level 6. And does not learn anything naturally. Because that would be, you know, that would actually be good if he did, but he didn't. Um, let's see. Let's do this. Let's drop a potion on Cabbage. And a potion on Abu. And we'll fight this guy real quick. I am going to fight pretty much all the trainers I come across, because my OCD basically says that I have to. Uh, it seems just wrong to not fight them, and I definitely do not want to take on a, a, a level 14 Spiro with Abu. That is just going to be a terrible idea, as would uh, taking on this Spiro. Oh man, actually this is just a bad matchup for me, period. Um, I do have a pretty good number of potions, though, so that's good at least. I'm going to leer this Spiro a couple times, hope that I can hurt it enough to um, actually like, damage it. Um... We're going to go for a growl. It keeps leering me, actually, which I, I don't like that one bit. Um, in fact, I'm going to switch... Uh, I'm going to switch into Cabbage. This is, this is a risky move, guys, but with that leer, with the uh, growls and whatnot... You really need to get the look. Alright, this leech seed needs to hit, or I am pretty much screwed. But we did get the leech seed off, so let's. Oh, I should have looked to see. Okay, that's alright. We're okay. We're okay. Um, I'm just gonna basically potion heal through this fight. Oh, man. Um. At least until... Actually, I might be okay. I think we'll go for a tackle here. Oh, he has Fury Attack as... Holy crap! That crit. And of course, my tackle misses. Oh, man, guys. This is... This is a rough fight. 
I'm doing everything I can to not lose someone in this fight, but this Spiro, that's about the worst thing I could have been matched up against. A level 14 Spiro. Because nothing I have can really compete. I definitely need to catch a rock type like Geodude in uh, Mount Moon. That's going to be like an, a necessity, or maybe an Onyx if I can get lucky, but I would be happy with just a Geodude. Alright, um, I think we are going to go for the tackle here. And as long as it hits, we should win the fight, which we do, thankfully. Oh, man. I have never been so worried about a fight with a youngster. Oh, holy cow. Wouldn't be a big deal, like, if, uh, you know, this wasn't a Team Slot Elimination Challenge. Uh, I suppose it would be a big deal on, like, a Nuzlocke, but, um, you know, if this was just a normal game, I would have been like, eh, whatever, I'll sacrifice a couple here, sacrifice a couple there, no big deal. Go back to the Pokemon Center afterwards and heal up. But in this, you, I mean, this challenge really punishes you for losing Pokemon, so I'm trying to get... I, I've already kind of come to the real, realization that... I'm probably going to lose something before the game is done. There's just really not a way around that. I thought I already fought this guy. I guess not. Well, hopefully he has more than two Pokemon, so... Uh, so Beaker can get some experience. Um, but that's alright. We'll, we'll, we'll see if we can take this Caterpie down with Abu. Because that would be great. I do have uh, a nice little damage head start, it seems like, so that's definitely a good thing. Uh, three more scratches should be able to finish him off. How much does that... T oh, and his tackle barely does anything. So yeah, we should be able to get Abu uh, a level here, no problem. And we'll just scratch away. And go for another scratch to finish him off. And there we go. So Abu gets 124 experience, hits level 9. And now we're going, now there's a Metapod going out, which I am not worried about. I am, however, worried about another level 14 Spiro. So I'm going to send out Beaker so that I can deal with such things. Because Beaker also needs another level or That was a beautiful one-hit KO. Brilliant job, Beaker. You are currently the star of my team when I'm fighting bug Pokemon or pretty much anything that is super effective against what I've got. So, uh, let's see here. We've got five Pokemon on the team. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to add a sixth here, maybe. Maybe. We'll see what we can find. I certainly don't need another Pidgey. And I believe there is still one trainer back there who I uh, have yet to fight, but that's that's okay with me. And we found a, a female Nidoran. That I actually will take. I like Nidoran quite a great deal. Uh, Poison Point is always a very useful ability to have on the team. Poison Typing is actually pretty good defensive typing because it resists uh, things like fighting. So this uh, this Nidoran actually could be a very good addition to the team. I am going to go ahead and see if we can catch him. I am uh, actually Vine Whip definitely won't kill him because that's going to be resisted by that Poison Typing. So we're just going to bring him down. Uh, that Leech Seed will kind of chip away at him. And we're going to try and throw a Pokeball and see if it catches. Nope, not quite, but that's alright. We'll be further reduced in, in uh, health by this Leech Seed every turn. Hopefully I'll be able to catch him before he runs out, but uh, we'll see. So we'll go for another one. And we did catch it. So we have a female Nidoran to add to the team. Alright. 
yes, we do want to nickname it. And we will nickname it... Hmm, what do we want to nickname her? What's a good nickname for a Nidoran? Nidorina, Nidoqueen... Well, it evolves into Nidoqueen, which is a queen, so we're going to name her after... Uh, I don't know if it'll fit. I think it will fit. We'll name her after a famous queen, Cleopatra. I suppose I could just call it Cleo, but this will just fit. So we'll, uh, we now have Cleopatra the Nida Queen. And right up here, I believe, is Mount Moon. Where there is a Pokemon Center. So, guys, we will switch out the team. Actually, we don't need to. I only have five Pokemon. What am I doing? I'll have to switch some out, though, once I catch, like, a Geodude and whatnot. But I think this is a good place to go ahead and, the, and uh, end the episode, guys. So, uh, if you liked this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, or leave me a comment. It really helps keep me motivated. And honestly, your feedback really helps me improve my channel. So, uh, I definitely appreciate it when you leave me some comments and feedback and whatnot. Uh, if that isn't something that's really uh, your style, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.